Good morning, thank you for joining me. Um, this morning I've come out to the marina port at El Campeo with the idea of shooting a panorama. So what I thought I'd do is talk you through my setup, my concept for the composition and just some of the sort of techniques and stuff that I'm using in terms of making sure I get the best chance of this panorama coming out. I hope you'll enjoy the video. If you do and you're not already a subscriber, please consider hitting subscribe. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you, I appreciate that. So my vision for this is there's a channel here which leads down between boats and in the back of that there's the watchtower which is illuminated and that's reflecting in the water. There's another channel over here which is leading out towards the exit to the port and then all the way around here we have the uh, rather interestingly shaped building which is the fish market. And then obviously we've got lots and lots of boats in this scene. So just talking you through the setup, 16 to 35 lens at 35 mil, obviously on the tripod. Uh, I've taken the time to make sure that my tripod is perfectly level using the little bubble level on the, the, the tripod itself. I've taken the time to check that, that I've then got the head level so that at whatever angle I'm pointing the camera at, it's level using the um, artificial horizon on the camera. And then I've also swung the camera left to right all the way through with the histogram on, making sure I'm not blowing out any highlights.
So I've done one set of shots already, five second exposures. Uh, I think there was about 10 shots in all. Um, and I know that one of them, somebody was moving in, so I duplicated the shot. Um, five second exposures is going to mean that some of these boats are not going to be completely sharp because they're just moving a little bit. I'm just going to do another set of shots at two seconds. And at the moment, the lights are still on on the watchtower, so that will still be floodlit. Uh, in a few minutes, I think the lights will be going off because it's getting brighter. So I need to get that two second one done quickly now. Yeah, okay, so it's uh, past sunrise now, past official sunrise, and uh, there's been a few boats moving around. Just had one boat come down from the, the channel that's leading down in the general direction of the tower. So obviously I couldn't take the shot while the boat was there, because you can't have a panorama with something like that moving in it. And just the movement of the boat has stirred everything up now, all the, the water's all uh, ripples and it doesn't look very nice. So I'm going to hang on a few minutes and see what happens, but there's other boats. Looks like they're starting to get ready to move, so it may be that the shooting is over for the morning. Okay, so I was just packing up and I decided to take a couple of shots of some boats as they came out. Now the sun's rising over there. It's too much haze to get a decent sun star, unfortunately. But these couple of extra shots, you never know. Sometimes they're uh, worth taking, even though it wasn't what I came out to do. Okay, that's it. The sun's up now. I've taken my panos. I've taken a couple of bonus shots. I'm not sure how any of them are going to come out, but hopefully you'll have already seen by now. I hope you've enjoyed the video. If you have, please consider giving it a like or a share or both. And uh, don't forget about the subscribe button if you're not already a subscriber. I'd love to hear from you. Let me know what you think. Maybe you've got a question about the pano or something else. Whatever. Leave me a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. And as always, I really appreciate you taking the time to watch. So, thank you very much. And until the next video, bye.